Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to make a beggar class in Oblivion. Now, this class is more for the people who want to roleplay in this game, rather than actually play the game seriously. So just remember that this is not for the people that want to make the greatest hero in the world. So to get started, we're going to talk about your sign, which is the thief, for basically the agility bonus. Your specialization is going to be stealth, because most of the skills are in the stealth class. And your two um, chosen attributes are going to be agility and personality. And we'll get to that in a little bit. So your four core skills are going to be speechcraft, blade, restoration, and sneak. And we'll get to this in a second. Speechcraft is by far number one, because if you ever met these beggars, you know that they can make many, many different voices and are generally charming. Like, Oblivion would not be the same without them. So then your other three skills are going to be athletics, merchantile, and illusion. So how you would, I guess, play this beggar class is you basically make everyone your friend. You basically have to play like a mooch, right? So you make everyone your friend. And then what you do is you go into their houses, you steal their stuff, and if they get pissed at you, you yield and then do that. Now, if they really make you mad, you can like smack them a couple times, but since they're your friend, they'll yield to you. And the blade is for the dagger, because if you pair sneak with daggers, you can do some serious... I think it's like a the multiplier, I want to say, is 8. Last time I checked, I'm, I'm just off the top of my head, 8, 10, or 12, something like that, with a dagger. So you can do a lot of damage. Basically, you play this like an assassin and a bard at the same time. So then you obviously you need to join the Thieves Guild. I mean, all the beggars are part of the Thieves Guild anyway. Let's be real here. And then you just walk around basically being the world's nicest criminal. Remember the Thane in Skyrim? How it's like you could do stuff and you're like, oh, I'm the Thane and this, that, and the other. Yeah, you're basically making a Thane in Oblivion, except you play as a beggar. Really, the beggar doesn't use any armor or anything, so you're not going to be carrying any armor enchanted clothes to help with sneak or speechcraft. Illusion is there basically to help you sneak around or paralyze someone or silence them or charm them. Any and all are really useful. Athletics is there because the beggars sleep outdoors. Like it's just natural to have athletics. And Merchantile is there to help you get money from goods that you get off other people or stolen or anything like that. You can even kill them and steal their stuff. But that's really it for this beggar. There's not too much to it. Uh, it's, like I said, more of a role play. If you want to make your character have, like, gray hair or something like that, you know, you can do that. I made a Khajiit beggar because Khajiit is the stealth master in this game. But I'd love to know what you think of this build in the comments below. And that's it, guys. So if you enjoyed, you can also tell me that. And, guys, this community tab, by the way, just real quick. The community tab, I love it, and I like that you guys are interacting. It's really cool. Like, by far, I've always tried to make a Twitter account exactly like how the YouTube community tab is working. So it's really nice. But I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.